Good afternoon, everybody. I want to show you an album that I just finished up a couple of days ago, and I'm just now getting a chance to record it. So this album I kept uh, pretty plain on the front, and um, because I wanted to use this paper with the flowers, so it's just you know if I'd have tried to add more flowers to it, it would just have been too much. So I thought with a chipboard title and some uh, bling flourishes and uh, and then this butterfly that matches the collection, I thought that that was going to be plenty. Sometimes uh, people just want something that's a little more simple so um, and not so much um, you know, uh, of the flowers. I just thought I would give it a try and see if, you know, some uh, a diversified album for me would would work. Um, I have, uh, like I said, that's a chipboard title. This album is called Beautiful Day and uh, Matching Butterfly. I used glitter on the flowers that were on the paper. I've got the bling there. And I did put um, a runner of um, bling here. Uh, this is a pretty paper. It has, uh, you know, this old fashioned, uh, uh, the, the people. Um, and I forget what you call this paper, but my sister and I were just talking about this not too long ago. But anyway, I, I thought it was really pretty, and it it's, um, is in the collection. Um, and then here's the back side with the opposing flowers facing the other way. And again, I kept it simple, with the exception of adding the row of bling here. And... Um, um, I thought that that would, you know, it's going to go together. The papers, of course, match. Uh, let's look on the inside. This is where I did more of the embellishing. I have uh, um, I, Maya Road uh, pocket here where you can open it up. I won't open it all up, but you know you can you can put some of your keepsakes or some mementos, anything that you happen to accumulate. Uh, let me zoom down here a little bit to see to show you some of the close-ups. There's a piece of chipboard up here, and then on this page, I have a die-cut frame made of, uh, as you can see, craft cardstock. I have different uh, little sayings, different places. Let me zoom back out so you can see that. And then um, I added more flowers. I kept it, you know, fairly, uh, you know, each of the pages fairly simple, but, you know, you're going to have room for a photo and. Uh, um, it will slide under these flowers. I just layered a bunch there because um, I thought uh, they were pretty. And I have some some pretty bling centers there. These are they're just all my favorites. I've been accumulating these and finding them different places. Here's a side tag and I stamped each one. The back is just a solid color but I stamped each one with a different um, saying on there that I thought was appropriate and that went with the album. This side has uh, a three-dimensional uh, mm, uh, match or coordinating a matching uh, piece. It's it's popped three different layers you can probably see it and then I um, I backed it on the craft card stock so it would it would all match this is a popped piece right here uh, you can put a photo there there's room and uh, if you did want to do that or just keep it like it is you can here's a nice journaling area that's again like I said that's popped let's go back out if 
find my button. And then on this side, I have another three dimensional uh, piece, and I die cut this. Well, this is die cut as well, but I, I die cut this to, if you wanted to journal a little name or a date or something like that. And then I'm just going to raise this up, show you the, the, the little pretties that I put down there. You can see that that piece is three layers. I made you some some smaller tags. They're just these are plain on the back, and then this one um, color coordinated. Oh, I forgot to stamp this one. I'll do it. I'll get that stamped. I. Um, Oh no, I take that back. I didn't want to stamp the inside ones. I only stamped the, the, the side pockets. So I don't, I, I won't be stamping that one. I don't want to do it because I want to allow that, you know, strictly for a photo for you. Uh, on, on both sides, actually. So here's your little tags for some journaling. Here is another um, side tag. And back here I have adorable stamped on there for you. This side has a die cut um, photo mat. And then I cut a piece of paper to go on the inside or a piece of the collection to go on the inside. I have a pretty piece of trim here with the flower. This is a chipboard piece. This is a wooden piece, and uh, this is um, a sticker, but I mounted it on um, heavy chipboard so that um, it would, you know, give it some dimension, and it's popped, and it matches that chipboard flower, so uh, I like that. Uh, let's get this back out because there's a glare on my as you can see this says cuteness this is a piece of chipboard I die cut this journaling spot for you and I have some uh, flowers there for you with uh, some pretty centers here are some more small tags and they're just plain on the back and then here is a uh, coordinating tag that goes with matches that side, this side. And uh, then the back I left plain. That's that's a good size for a, a large photo. This was kind of an interesting album to put together. I I I enjoyed it. It was fun trying to, you know, get all of the colors to come together. Uh, so here's this, which flows with these greens and pinks, and then the back side is, for the most part, uh, plain. Uh, stamp that with the word special, and I tried to keep, you know, these are the the stampings on the, the back of these uh, side pocket inserts mats. Or um, just one word because I wanted to keep it so that you had plenty of room to uh, oh dear mash that um, so that you have plenty of room to um, put your photos and or journaling on so here are two more little tags that are plain this tag, I die cut this, and then I placed it on a piece of the uh, collection and um, backed it on the, the craft card stock. And again, this one I didn't want to stamp because it's. I figured that would be a good place for a, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a photo. This side has, um, I put a doily on there and I tucked it underneath the paper so that it's, uh, it's mostly there, but, um, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't want the whole doily on there. I just wanted to tuck it, uh, behind. Uh, I have, uh, a couple of flowers up here 
with uh, multifaceted uh, pieces, centers. This can be used as a little frame, a circular frame, and it's it's the same teal, and then it's got the green in there to to match with that page. This is just a plain craft uh, die cut, and I I did ink the outside edges of it. In fact, all of my all of these pages and tags and photo mats and everything, they're all inked except for, no, I take that back. I did ink those as well. Um, so it's all inked for you. Here's a three-dimensional three piece. This says Cherish. Here's the side pocket tag, and it says Unique. So as you can see, I inked it all. Um, and um, I just think overall rarely do I not ink because I think it looks better it adds dimension and makes the makes it stand out more and I think makes it pretty so anyway uh, here's a couple of more uh, three-dimensional um, pieces that came with the collection uh, it says celebrate. This says shine. That might be a little more difficult for you to see. And this says explore. It's all the teals and greens. So I did matching and coordinating flowers with uh, the multifaceted. Whoops. Uh, cent multifaceted centers. I put a pretty piece of um, um, this lacy ribbon I like it I think it's pretty this is a photo mat so you can you can tuck your photo underneath here it's you know uh, this is not glued down on the front here's a little small journaling spot for a date that would be nice or a name um, or some little quick sentiment that you wanted to jot down here's a couple more little tags for journaling here is a mat and it has I hope I'm showing this here is uh, this side I left that plain I think this is a pretty paper I like it so I carried it over on this uh, on the pocket part of the page because sometimes I like to do that I think it makes it look like it it really flows and and um, uh, looks nice uh, matching flower I like how these flowers really matched the paper um, so um, and then the, the creams I think they're pretty um, let me show you those pieces for the centers this is a again a dimensional piece this is a die cut that I made for you so that you can I uh, have a little journaling area down there and then then you've got these tags where you know I, I like those that have the lines because I need lines if I don't have them I I have a tendency to write crooked here's your side uh, pocket tag this is stamped up here with the word sweet and then this page, this is your pink page here, kind of, um, with a little um, die cut there that is open. You can uh, cut your uh, photo to 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 that size, and then uh, once you have it down, if it's one that you think you're not going to change. You know, like uh, unless you, if you use a a temporary glue, you can always change those photos if you want. But if you use a permanent glue and glue down your photo, you might want to glue down these little fragile pieces here. But I left it open so that you could slide your photo in and then uh, and then glue this down. Here's a big chipboard piece, and I put a couple more flowers there. And on this side is a large chipboard piece with a functioning, pretty much functioning, 
I did I, I I did glue these down I'm not sure if I got them yes I, I, I did glue them to the to the um, chipboard piece so it's not going to swing all the way around but I don't think that's something that typically you would do anyway uh, here is a close-up of the centers on those flowers and I lightly stained the outer edges of these butterflies what these are wooden um, so and I made you a small journaling spot down here and here's the sign pocket tag for this this page and it says beloved the back couple of pages this is uh, popped I, I popped it myself it, there's um, two layers and uh, let me bring it up a little bit so you can see that it's it's sparkly and uh, you can see the dimension there and then there's the uh, pretty centers for those flowers I put a little bird there I thought it it went well and so and I liked it and uh, so there she is there's a little bird and this is uh, another Maya Road um, pocket that you can open up and tuck away any of your little secret notes or anything that um, um, you know might be uh, just for you or or maybe um, the person if you give this as a gift uh, they they would have a choice there to uh, uh, put some things in. So that's why I put a two little uh, pockets. Here's a large tag uh, mat and and then two small ones for journaling. And uh, here's some more flowers and uh, this pink I thought just I don't know it matches these pinks in here so I thought this page tied together rather well um, and so again here's the back and the spine with these vintage uh, images on here I think they're pretty and then uh, the butterfly I, I put some glitter on her uh, you can lay her flat if you want or pop it up. Um, glitter on the outer edges of that of these two flowers and then the bling and um, again these are chipboard. They're pretty pretty heavy and, and thick. Um, hope you like it and I'm very grateful for you uh, stopping by as you can oh here and as you can see it's it's pretty full it's uh, you know it's um, it's got a lot in it and I I made uh, some extra pages so that uh, and I put double sided uh, double matted uh, uh, mats or double sided mats rather I'll get it out uh, so that you have a, a pretty border if you want to cut your photo down to uh, a, a smaller size than the mat and uh, have a excuse me I'm kinda getting a cold I think um, and uh, so anyway I hope you like it I hope you stop in to see me and uh, I appreciate you coming by today to view this uh, video that I made for you and uh, the newest album. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.